Initially, we start with the meaning of Internet of Things, uh, which is seen as the interconnectivity of different objects. And these different objects, they are everywhere collecting information from the environment, and those information they are collecting are being shared to other levels. And the, the means of sharing that, uh, those information is the internet. An Arduino basically, it has a microcontroller and it's open source. It's a programmable circuit board which is integrated and it is done, it is used for various projects. Any, any project which you want, you can use an Arduino. The Arduino can, can help you in the processing stage for you to achieve your common goal, which is the automation. Most of the time, Sensor for embedded system is the input, actuator is the, the output. Then, before starting any coding, you have to specify is this the input, is this the output. When anything is within quotation, it is a string. You can replace whatever you want. But when uh, you put it only within the parentheses, without quotation, this is the variable value you are going to display. What is a sensor now? A sensor is a device which capture changes in the environment and convert into electrical signal. The actuator is a device which takes electrical signal and convert it into any other form of energy which is not electrical signal. Before attending the workshop, I had no clue uh, about what is IoT, how it works. For now, I gained some knowledge of what is IoT, which is basically Internet of Things, which uh, is a system uh, which can connect um, a lot of devices everywhere. Those kids from the high school, uh, they have benefit uh, those um, technology, those concepts of IoT, which will help them to develop uh, or to find out the solution of some problem facing our country, also in all Africa. Uh, what we learned today is how to implement our project through technology and internet. Uh, before we had just an idea on how on the project we have, but now we know how to implement it, to put it in a way that we can, we can develop and make them projects which can be fundable. We're basically talking about IoT, which stands for the Internet of Things, uh, implementing the use of sensors and clouds in order to have a more developed way of living. In the IoT Bootcamp, we're able to use uh, circuits and other forms of technology in order to understand how they work and how they affect our daily lives, uh, whereby uh, we were able to use both analog and digital equipment. We were able to have a more clear goal of how uh, the current technology is working in the world, of how you can have everything of, uh, of yours connected to another. Apart from that, IoT helped me to visualize myself in the future and in accordance to what career I want to take, which is uh, obviously I'm doing sciences, so it was supposed to be a science-related field, but IoT made it more clear that I want to do something related to computer science. I was privileged to be among the team that was training these uh, secondary school students uh, during Science Week and uh, I was privileged to introduce to them uh, about the new concepts Internet of Things, uh, its usage in the community, uh, the technologies that they will use uh, to solve some problems in the society, and uh, other terminologies concerned in the technology. Over the last three days, we held the IoT Bootcamp, which was a build-up to what we did last year. Last year, we held the Bootcamp for just one day. This year, we expanded it to three days so that we could uh, have more time with the students and uh, they could benefit more. The students have completed their training after day three and we've given them the kits just like we did last year to go with so that they can continue working on their projects 
and we hope that we'll be able to organize visits with the schools to see the progress that the students are making and those that will develop full projects will be able to invite to next year's uh, Africa Science Week Science Expo where they'll exhibit some of the work that they've been working on.